10-year-old purebred Spanish horse. So I was working with um, Virginia Maldonado with some um, groups, women's groups, and just doing some work with the horses about getting into their power. And she said to me, oh, I would like to have a horse of my own, but I would really like a foal so I can bring it up in my own way. So off we went round some breeders looking at horses. And on that journey, I saw Morisco. Uh, <laughs> walked away saying, there's no way I'm getting another horse. The last thing I need at the moment is another horse. But the next day, my friend Juan Romero, who was my compañero all the years working at Miguel's, very dear friend of mine, he called me up and he said, Susan, Miguel's given me a foal, a young horse, but I don't have anywhere to keep it. I don't know what to do with it. Can I bring him up to your place? So <laughs> I said, oh, you know, I just saw this foal the other day. And of course, horses should be brought up with other young horses, just like children need other children to play with. So that was it. I was easily persuaded to take that as a sign. So off we went and um, brought Morisco. They, they brought him in the trailer. It was rather late at night. It was pitch dark and he, he got here and trembling away and terrified. So I uh, took a mare I had at the time out the trailer and get him to follow out the trailer into a stable, whip the mare out, shut the door. And there he was, poor little thing, shaking all over. And uh, the next morning we went in to feed him and he ears flat back. So luckily I went with the bucket and said, hey, that's not acceptable. And he from then on tried it on with every new person. Every person had to assert their authority before he would allow them into his space. So at the time I thought, oh God, I hate this kind of horse. I much prefer a softer character. And, uh, but of course life was giving me what I needed. So to be more firm and stand up for myself. And um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the start of Marisco's story anyway.